In weather like this, we all just want to keep standing. So I've come to an underground lab in Toronto where they can create treacherous, icy and wet surfaces to see which boots can withstand the knockout punches of winter. And it's here where I'm about to go off limits. Today, I'm going to show you how we test the slip resistance of the winter footwear on ice. Sophia Lee is a biomedical engineer. Her goal is to keep people from falling and getting injured. And her lab is at the Kite Research Institute. In Ontario alone, every winter, there are about 20,000 people visit ER because they slip and fall. We want to find out which winter footwear are safe and which are not safe. Only 10% of boots that hit Sophia's ice rink get a pass. Today, we'll see how I do. Put the okay, harness so on you. Like that. Yeah, one, two. I will help you, don't worry. All right, just be careful. Okay. The floor is pink. That's because there is a pipe and there's a lipo liquid in the pipe. We make the liquid very cold from minus five all the way to close to zero. And then we flood this floor with water. That's how we make this miniature ice rink. Today's testing condition is more slippery for most of the footwear. I start with my red sneakers. Of course, these aren't meant for winter. Fail. <laughs> Okay, these are my actual winter boots, so we'll see how they do. While my boots have a thick rubber tread, they don't have any special fibers in them. If we touch yours, uh, I don't really feel the same roughness. So you can yeah, tell it feels the really difference. Different. They have those sparkling hard particles. They also contribute to the good slip resistance as well. So embedding these, these small fibers makes these grip better. That's correct. I think that was a fail. <laughs> I guess I need an upgrade. Fail, fail! Now I'll try the pair with the special fibers in the sole. Yeah. It feels bizarre. Like, it's just, I know I'm on ice, but it feels sticky. Especially this footwear has two types of uh, special material. One is the one with the glass fiber embedded, one is a hard particle. Pass, pass. Sophia can even make the test more extreme by ramping up the floor to replicate sidewalks and roadways with an incline. We actually have a hydraulic actuator in the back of the winter lab, and the whole winter lab is sitting on a tipper. So are you saying that this whole lab lifts up and you can move the whole lab around? That's correct. And all of this testing is tracked and monitored in a control room. I hope they got that. <laughs> that's, that's pretty severe slide. Who knew biomedical engineering would lead Sophia to create winter inside in a lab? It's literally helped thousands. You have to love what you work on. And sometimes maybe there are barriers, but my experience is that if you have that passion, you always find a way. 